welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're living your best life. Two months ago, I thought I had a great life with a house, a faithful wife, and extended family. Now you live the life of a ghost. No one can tell where it ends. About two months ago, I found out that my wife had been cheating on me for five years. We have been married since 2009 and recently had a baby less than a year ago. Basically, the other man's wife found several emails between my wife and the other man. The other man ended up confessing to everything. The other wife then blasted my wife on Facebook. I'm not sure why they were even Facebook friends. And she included a picture from our wedding for everyone to see. My wife immediately deleted her Facebook and confessed to me that she cheated on me years ago, three or four times. Once she told me this, I had to verify the story and contacted the other man's wife. My wife, she really was not a party girl and I never picked up on anything that I could look back on that would have shown that she was having an affair especially of this magnitude. This is one thing that makes it such a shock. I guess she is just really good at hiding secrets and manipulating people. Turns out that they had been hooking up since late 2008 before we were married. To make a long story short, they didn't use protection, they said I love you to each other, they hooked up in our house, went on vacations together, had sex while I was at my bachelor's party, etc. At some point, the other man moved out of state. However, this did not stop the affair. He would come back in town a couple of times a year. She went to see him a few times, once while we were vacationing in Hawaii, and they were in contact via the internet and phone. From what the other man's wife told me, they got married around the same time me and my wife did. The other man told his wife that they continued the affair as soon as he got back from his honeymoon. My tipping point was when I learned the extent of the affair. Right when I found out the truth about the affair from talking to the other man's wife, I pretty much knew that I did not want to live with my wife anymore and could never forgive her. I know that I'm still living in the same house right now, but I'm still kind of in shock about the whole thing. Two months ago, I thought I had a great life with a house, a faithful wife, and extended family. Turns out, I actually met the other man a few times. Last time I saw him, I felt uneasy around him and confronted my wife about their relationship. She called me crazy and got angry. I still ask that she not be friends with him anymore. I'm not the jealous type and this is the only time I did this. Unfortunately, I'm completely torn now. My wife initially said she would move forward with the divorce, but she's now pleading for me to stay with her and saying that she made a mistake. I have a strong feeling that there are other men that I don't know about. I can't even look at my wife right now, but I love my kid and I'm afraid I'll lose custody or contact if I file for a divorce. If I get a DNA kit and the baby is mine, do you think that this should have an impact on me staying or divorcing my wife? Ultimately. I believe the baby is mine. However, the fact that there is even a 1% chance that the baby is not mine is horrible. I'm avoiding my wife at all costs right now. A few days after she told me, I said I wanted a divorce and she seemed to agree with it. She even handed me her ring, which I threw on the ground, and she's now wearing it again. However, next time I brought it up, she said she would not let me divorce her and that she loves me too much. As far as I can tell, she's no longer in contact with the other man. However, this is impossible for me to know. He lives in a different state and all, but I can't tell if they're talking on the phone or not. I want a divorce. It's hard to stay with someone who cheated for five years and did so many horrible things to me. I actually talked to the other man's wife a couple of days ago. She said that she moved out recently while he went on a vacation with a few of his friends. He sounds like a really classy guy, I guess. She said he actually got drunk one night and started to compare my wife versus his wife and how they were in bed. She said this was the tipping point for her and made her realize that her husband was a true piece of shit. 
The other man's wife also told me about the vacations which were basically disguised as girls trips where my wife would meet up with the other man while out with her friends. Also, there were a few fake work trips. After finding this out, I assumed that all of her work trips were actually trips to meet up with him. I wondered why they never left us. And the only thing I can assume is, half the fun was they were cheating, and the other half, they probably realized they could not trust each other. Soon after I found out about the affair, I turned to my parents for support and told them. I told them I could not picture getting back with my wife. Since then, they have been somewhat confrontational with me and insist that I get back with her. The way they explain it, I would not be a real man and would not be taking care of my kid if I divorced her, and they insist I stay in the same house with her. My parents are not religious at all, and I never thought they would have this type of reaction. They are still in contact with my wife and even bring her dinner every once in a while. I had to request that I be included on all text messages they send to each other as I felt they were trying to manipulate me. I'm currently living in the same house with my wife and I'm so exhausted and don't even want to talk to her. We basically take turns spending time with the baby and I spend the rest of my time in my room or I leave the house. I plan on confronting my parents about this, telling them everything in detail, then saying that I'm going to divorce her regardless if they support my decision or not. I have already broken off contact with the friends that we shared that knew about the affair. I'm almost just as mad at them as I am her. I'm pretty close to my parents. I'm pretty close to my parents. I see them at least once a week. I plan on filling them in on every detail to see if that changes anything, but I don't think it will. My parents did not know that my wife was cheating on me until I told them. I filled them in on all of the details except for the fact that she has been cheating from day one. I just talked to my dad about an hour after he came over unexpectedly. Basically, he says that I owe it to my kid to try to get back together with my wife. He only points out the positives to getting back together with her and refuses to recognize that there would also be huge risks as well. He said that the situation is causing him a lot of stress and that he's now attending therapy. He also said that his therapist told him that the best thing I can do is to get back together with my wife since we have a kid together. A divorce would put her in a huge disadvantage in life. Before I left, he said I need to get back together with her at least for a year and try really hard to be happy with her and not to dwell on the past. And if after the year went by and things did not work out, he would then support a divorce. I couldn't believe this shit. Supposedly, the courts are willing to give a 50-50 custody after the first two years. That's what he said anyway. He also said I was really lucky that she didn't decide to run away with the other man once I found out about the affair. You know what's so great is that people I never met are willing to give advice to a stranger on the internet. Before I found out that my wife was cheating, I would always turn to her and my parents for advice and support whenever I needed it. I obviously can't do that anymore. So I appreciate any comments and suggestions that you guys have. I really do. I do, however, give my parents credit. They are still being helpful when I need a hand with the baby and do mean well. There was most likely something in my dad's past that is causing him to have such a strange or strong reaction towards the whole thing. There is a good chance that at least one of my parents cheated before. Their marriage was pretty rocky when I was young. However, I was too little to know exactly what their issues were. I have always took my parents' advice seriously, and it has almost always been good. Unfortunately, in this situation, we have totally different views. Ultimately, I know that I'm doing what I want to do, but not having my parents' support is a hurdle. I received two other types of advice from my friends and the rest of my family. Number one, divorce my wife, divorce her now. And number two, they said they can't tell me what I need to do, but they will support me either way. My parents are actually the only ones who said flat out that I need to stay with her. My mom seems more open to me doing what I want, but holds back since she knows my dad has a strong view on the subject. 
Right now, I'm collecting all of the evidence I have regarding my wife's affair. The other man's wife has been very supportive in providing so many receipts. I decided to get a lawyer. I will never look at my wife the same and I can never forgive her for betraying me like this. I never cheated on her. I always told her that she is beautiful and dedicated my life to her and my family. I don't consider her to be my family anymore, just someone who I have a baby with. I'm getting a divorce. She is clearly for the streets. If my parents don't want to support my decision, then so be it. I'm prepared to part ways with them. They can be in our child's life. That's what matters the most. My child and I are the victims here, but soon I'll be a victor. I refuse to stay in a marriage with a lying bitch any longer.